Pixel Games is one of my all-time favorite developers, releasing games on the VCS, so a new game from this one-person studio's reason to get excited. Pixel Games' last game, Donut Dodo, is maybe the best arcade game of the past 20 years. Insigi is my favorite platformer for the VCS and a game I still keep my skills up for to consistently hit 100% runs. I don't know what kind of a living Sebastian Casca makes from these games, but I feel like Pixel Games needs to be bigger than it is. Cash Cow DX takes some of the scoring and mechanical ideas from Donut Dodo and mixes it with a fast-paced acrobatic platformer like Sonic the Hedgehog to create an extremely challenging game that takes getting good at to have more fun with. But once you do get the hang of it, unlocks itself and turns into an addicting arcade high score chasing experience that I like almost as much as Donut Dodo. The score isn't just for bragging rights either. Each 100,000 points gets you another life, and you'll need all the lives you can get to get through the five stages, even on the easiest setting. Cash Cow DX is a bit hard to get into due to its initially punishing gameplay. This is a game where your first couple dozen games could be over in fewer than 30 seconds. An important thing to know is there is one pickaxe on each level, grabbing it lets you permanently remove enemies you hit while it's active from the level. So, planning your run to clear out enemies is key. Also, while wielding the pickaxe or after falling through a portal, you're briefly invulnerable, and you need to take advantage of that as well. Another important thing to know is grabbing diamonds which appear on and off around the stage give you a short window of a score multiplier, so plan your coin grabbing runs. The diamonds even stack, turning a times 2 bonus into a times 4 and so on. I've only been able to get to the third stage and I have yet to beat the game. Doing so unlocks normal difficulty in addition to a speedrun mode. Beating the game on normal unlocks the endless marathon game mode. There's also a turbo game mode with a faster but less controllable and less jumpable cow, which I can't imagine makes things easier. One of my only criticisms of Pixel Games games is they tend to feature a fair amount of flashing and screen shake, and Cash Cow continues the trend. Thankfully, you can toggle these settings on and off from the settings menu, and I'd recommend turning them off to save your eyes and play better. You can also toggle on and off a bezel, since the game is in a 4-3 aspect ratio. Similar to Donut Dodo, I think Cash Cow DX would make for an outstanding physical arcade machine. Cash Cow features both local and global leaderboards, which is nice, although I'd also love to see VCS-specific leaderboards. There's also a practice mode, which allows you to access any stage and get the hang of it without a score. That's how I've been able to capture footage of levels 4 and 5 for the video. Sadly, the classic joystick isn't supported, although there's no reason it couldn't work well for the game. However, trying to use a classic makes you unable to start the game. The buttons don't seem to do anything. Anyone who's enjoyed other Pixel Games games on the VCS should just pick up Cash Cow DX, and I'd recommend it to anyone looking for a hard but rewarding classic modern arcade experience. It's another great game from a developer with an awesome track record, and we're lucky to have these games here. There's a fine balance that makes modern arcade games great, and Pixel Games seems to really have something special going on. Thanks for watching. I'll have more game videos in the coming weeks, so like and subscribe to help out the channel and get these videos in your feed. Have fun!